Hello, this is Dan Fashionbauer from Video Pizzazz. And today I'm going to show you how to create an AliExpress account and set up your credit card information using Alipay. So let's go over to the AliExpress site, which is AliExpress.com. You would normally click the Join Express over here, but it looks like they're offering a free coupon code today. So I'm going to click on that. So I'm going to click on this, click to win coupons, and then this pops up. And since I don't have an account yet, I'm going to click here, join free now. I'm going to scroll down here and enter in this information here. All right, so I entered in my email address, my first name, my last name, create a password, and confirm your password, and then enter in the CAPTCHA code that displays here. Click on I agree to the AliExpress free membership agreement. Click on create your account. All right, so it says, hi, Dan, you have successfully joined AliExpress. So now I'm going to go to my email and I'll see here that I got an email from AliExpress.com. Click on that. Here's my welcome email and I need to confirm my email address. So I'll click on that and it says, congratulations, your email has been confirmed. So now I'll go over here and hover over my name and you can click on My AliExpress. So now they're asking to learn a little bit more about me and my shopping habits. So I will click on I agree, click OK, and then we can fill in this information here. So fill in your first name, your last name, your gender, your date of birth, your nationality, and then select topics that you're interested in and then click on next. Now fill in your marital status, your child's date of birth, not sure why they're asking for that, your industry, your annual income, how much you spend per month with online shopping and other online shopping sites that you like. Then click submit. Now I can finish up entering my account information. I can click on account settings here. So now I can come out down here in the left hand side and you click on edit settings. So here's where you can upload a photo, edit member profile. I'll click on that. It gives me my name, my gender, my email address and it says it's confirmed. I'm in the United States. So I can add in my postal code here. Click on edit. I filled in my contact information for my street address, city, state, country, zip code, and telephone number, and click on submit. And it says you have successfully submitted your member profile. So now we go back to the tab here. I could upload a photo if I want. If I click here, I'll click here, upload photo, find an image I like, select that. And it says it'll take 24 hours to show up. Okay, that's fine. Let's go back here. I could change my email address. I could change my password. And I could change my email notifications if I wanted to. So my account settings have been updated. So now I'll click back here to my AliExpress. So now I'll add my credit card information to AliExpress through AliPay. So if I come over here and hover over my name, scroll all the way down to the bottom and click on my AliPay. Scroll down here. Click on go to my AliPay and I need to log into AliExpress again. Now I'm in AliExpress, but they're asking me if I want to create an account for AliPay. So now I need to verify. So I will slide this to the right and it says verified. Click on submit. So I need to verify my account by using a telephone number. So I'll click on verify now. And then it asks you from what country or area you're in. In my case, it's United States. And put in your mobile number. Click on submit. And I'm going to verify by getting a text message to my phone. So I will click here to receive a verification code. And it says a verification code has been sent to your cell phone. All right, I'll check my phone text messages. 
And I did get a message from Alibaba Group. And it's a six-digit verification code. So I'll enter that in right here. Click on Submit. Okay, it says Open Success. Click Sign In Now. So I'm just going to exit out of this. All right, so now our Alipay should be linked to our AliExpress account. So now let's add our credit card information to our Alipay. So we'll come over here and click on My AliExpress. And then come over here again, hover over my name, come down here to My Alipay. Click on Go to My Alipay. Log in. So now it's asking us to open an Alipay account. So we put in our email address, put in the CAPTCHA code here, click on send confirmation email. So it says here, go to my email, click that. And we got an activation from Alipay. It says activate your Alipay wallet. Click on that. So we need to confirm our Alipay wallet. So click on confirm. And we need to fill out all this information on this page. All right, so enter in a six-digit Alipay password. Confirm it. Answer the three security questions. And click on Submit. And it says your Alipay account has been set up successfully. So you can either click to go to my Alipay account, or you can click here to verify your identity so if i click on verify my identity all right so now you come to the identity verification page if you live in the u.s you'll have to have a copy of your driver's license front and back and your social security number front and back because they will ask you down below to upload images of those so the easiest thing that I found to do was just take a picture of the front and back on my cell phone and then email or use Dropbox or one of those features to get it to your computer on your computer so that you can upload it in the verification down below. You need to enter in your gender, your full name in English, um, your date of birth, your nationality, your street address, your city, state, region, zip code, your mobile phone number, your landline phone number, and your social security number is optional. It just helps Alipay verify your identification faster. And then you need to upload a picture of the front and back of your social security card. And then I selected to use my driver's license as my identity document. And so I typed in the driver's license number on that line there that make sure that the name and ID number in your profile are exactly the same on your ID. For instance, my name, I normally go by Dan, but all my official documents are Daniel. So make sure that you use your official name that's on your driver's license and then upload a front and back image of your driver's license. I know this is rather tedious and a lot of overkill, but it'll save you a lot of pain and anguish later on when you start using AliExpress. What will happen is you'll buy four or five or maybe ten products, and then they'll freeze your account until they can verify your identity. So if you do it now, you won't have to bump into that restriction later on. She supplied all the information and the images. Click on Submit. All right, the last thing I'm going to do is add a credit card to my Alipay for purchasing products from AliExpress. So we'll go back to My AliExpress here. Come over here, hover over my name, go to My Alipay. And it should automatically log you into your Alipay account. And then you can either go up to Settings, Manage Your Cards, or you can just click on manage your cards right here. So click here. It says, oops, you have no cards in Alipay. Click on add cards. 
and then enter in your credit card information. So enter in your credit card information, put in your Alipay password, click on save the card. So it says that a card has been added to my account and then I also set up my mobile phone for added protection. So now I should be set up with a credit card through Alipay for AliExpress. All right, so I hope you found this training useful, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.